Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena, and today we'll be comparing the iPhone 6 against the Samsung Galaxy S5. This particular comparison, however, is going to be a bit different from the ones we usually do. We're going to do a speed comparison between these two phones. Now, we're not going to compare CPUs, number of cores, amounts of RAM or any of that stuff. Instead, we'll be launching the same or identical applications on both phones and we'll be observing their performance. The goal of this is to see which of these two phones is faster in real life. So let's get to it. For the purpose of our testing, we're going to restart both phones. So I have them powered off now and I'm about to turn them on at the same time. Three, two, one. And we're almost there. Well, the Galaxy S5 is ready for business. The iPhone 6 was slightly slower in this test. Before we continue further, we have to clarify that the iPhone 6 is running iOS 8, while the Samsung Galaxy S5 is running Android 4.4.2 with the Dalvik runtime. Also, both phones are connected to the very same Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's start with something basic, like let's see which of these two phones will load up its contacts list faster. As you can see, there are no recent application, nothing is loaded in the memory yet. So let's launch the application now. Three, two, one. This one appears to be a tie. They both launched uh, their lists at uh, pretty much the same time. Let's try this one more time. Three, two, one. There appears to be a very, very slight lag on the Galaxy S5, but we'd call it uh, negligible. Now let's move on to the next application. We'll be launching Gmail on the S5 and the stock email client on the iPhone 6. They have the same Gmail account set up. All right, three, two, one. There was a very slight lag on the Galaxy S5, but not a very significant one. Let's see how fast the application will launch now that it's loaded in memory. Three, two, one. Pretty much a tie once the application is loaded in the memory already. Now let's try the gallery application. Both uh, phones have uh, well over a hundred photos taken with them already and uh, the gallery application is set up to display only the photos that are on the device, not uh, any of the photos that are stored in the cloud. So let's try this. Three, two, one. Well, there was a very noticeable lag here with the uh, Galaxy S5. Maybe it requires uh, some more time to load uh, the images that are stored on it. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Again, there was a very slight lag on the Galaxy S5 when opening the gallery. Now let's try the camera application. Let's see which phone will put up the camera faster. Three, two, one. Yep the iPhone 6 was slightly faster than the Galaxy S5. We must also test the stock web browsers on the two phones, so let's give them a try. Three, two, one. Both are configured to open our homepage and the S5 appears to be leading. The iPhone is done and the S5 is done. Both finished at pretty much the same time, so we'd call this a tie. Next up, we have the music players, so let's give them a try. We have the same songs loaded on both devices and uh, they're offline, they're not in the cloud. So let's start them up. Three, two, one. Yep, the iPhone 6 was definitely faster than the Galaxy S5. So until now we were testing only stock preloaded applications, but now we're gonna try some third party ones and see how well they perform. Let's try the Facebook app. Three, two, one. Yep, the Galaxy S5 was definitely faster than the iPhone with launching the Facebook application. Next app, Dropbox. It's connected to the same account with well over 50 gigabytes of files. Three, two, one. Well, it seemed like the iPhone application launched faster, but actually the folder became accessible at the very same time. So we'll call this a tie. Another social networking application, Twitter. They both loaded the feed at pretty much the same time. Next up, one of the most popular web browsers, Chrome. Three, two, one. 
Both are loading our homepage right now. And the S5 is downloading our homepage. And the iPhone 6 just finished. Well, the Galaxy S5 was slightly faster than the iPhone, but it wasn't leading by a mile. And before we wrap up, let's try one more popular application, Spotify. Yep, the Galaxy S5 was faster in this particular test at loading the Spotify home screen. Okay, so which is the faster phone, the iPhone 6 or the Samsung Galaxy S5? Well, it turns out that it depends. The iPhone 6 is really good at handling those core fundamental applications like your phone book, your dialer, your photo gallery or your camera application. Of course, the Samsung Galaxy S5 runs these apps just fine, but there are still some lags here and there. Interestingly, the Samsung Galaxy S5 appears to be better at handling third-party applications, at least the ones that we tested. Most of them launched faster and performed better on the Galaxy S5. Of course, don't forget that performance with third-party applications may vary from one application to another. So that was our speed comparison between the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S5. To learn more about these two great phones, just visit our website phonearena.com.